Today, we're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on five-star defensive lineman LJ McCray, who's going to be going to the Florida Gators. We're going to take a look at his highlights. We're going to take a look at his 24-7 sports player profile page to get a look at his ratings on there. But before we do, you need to click that subscribe button right now. Tap it with your finger on the phone. Click it with the mouse on your computer because we're covering these prospects from the 2024 recruiting class all off season long. So you can get an idea of what these freshmen are going to look like and how they're going to help your favorite collegiate team win a national title. But let's dig in here. Let's look at LJ McCray and we're going to start things off with his 24 seven sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a couple minutes, you will get there. Five-star prospect, defensive lineman number two in the rankings, defensive lineman number eight in the composite, six foot six, two sixty. So we're already huge. Signed on National Signing Day, going to the Florida Gators. I like to look at the offers for these players. That's what I like to do. And he's got thirty-five offers, five visits. But look at these teams. Everybody wants them. Florida, Auburn, Florida State, Georgia, Miami's from the Daytona Beach area. So, of course, them Florida boys wants them. Those Florida teams, they're after him. He's going with the Gators, but we're seeing Florida State. We're seeing Miami, probably a bunch of other schools. But hot commodity, hot five-star prospect. I'm excited to dig into the highlights with you guys. All-American Bowl, big-time prospect compared to DeForest Buckner. Let me know who you compare him to in the comments below. And he's a long limb defensive lineman, so he's going to have that reach. He's north of six foot six, could easily carry 20 or more pounds, so he's going to get bigger. He's going to grow into his frame a little bit more, and he's very productive. Might lack polish at this stage, but has gotten more and more active with his hands and could be come an absolute chore to handle with improved upper body strength. That's going to come. That's going to come, definitely. He's shown that he can create pressure both inside and outside. He can be heavily utilized as a tight end during the freshman season and sophomore seasons. So he's versatile, but should be viewed as one of the top overall prospects in 2024. Will likely need development year one and two. He's ready for a full-time starting role. He's ready to go right now. I can't wait to see him on the highlights. I can't wait to go over that with you guys. And looking at the timeline here, Auburn and the Florida schools going after him. That's what we're saying here. Signs with Florida on National Signing Day. And that's what we're looking at. 13 sacks last year, 3 in 2022, 37 tackles for loss, 80 total. Very disruptive this year. One of the best players in the nation at all positions. Looking at on three here, we got an advertisement there. Five-star prospect there, four-star on Rivals, four-star on ESPN, but heavily rated everywhere. A little bit lower on Rivals as the defensive lineman 16, but number one defensive lineman overall and on three. 24-7 Sports has him as number two. ESPN has him at number six. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. As we watch these highlights, tell me what you see. I like watching five-star defensive players go against high schoolers because it's fun tape we also got 10 minutes of tape sit back enjoy it because this one's probably gonna be very fun to watch and we're getting pressure already things are looking good already noticing some size here noticing a little bit of a motor there and they're gonna circle them up they're not gonna do that that's gotta be him right looks like it'd be him if that's him it's tall and lengthy you can definitely tell he can get bigger and he's already big there's him on the edge. Nice spin. And we're rolling off that. We got to him. Finish the play. Here we go. He's on the edge right there. There he is. Yep. That was the same guy in the first play then. Bull rush. Got him. Then the guy gave up. Dude gave up. Dude gave up on his block. Oh, look at the swim move. Oh, that was so quick. Here we go again. That D-lineman's done. You can definitely see how he came off the ball there. What's going on here? What's going on here? They're trying to do some foolery. It didn't even work. 
Just going to come off the ball. Read and react. Get your hands on there. We're on the inside. Just running guys over. He's nasty. He's nasty. This is what the tape should look like when you're a top tier five star prospect. You should be just dominating. And he's dominating. There's highlights and then there's highlights. These are the highlights. These are. Look at him go. Coming off the edge. We're going to just, just chase him down. Michael Myers coming off the edge. And we got some length there too. He's going to get bigger. Look at him read and react. Off the block. Sheds it and goes. See how we go here. Pushes him back. Hand up. Look how low he is. And he's already 6'6", six, six, or maybe even higher than that. Watch him come off the ball here. Lower than the lineman. Just breaks right through two guys. Tracks down the quarterback. Look at him. He's, he's off the edge here a little bit more. We're going to just run past the lineman here. We're going to get to the quarterback. He's scary. He's scary. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He got back there before they could figure out what they want to do with the handoff. Read and react. He's just doing what he wants. Oh, he killed a guy. Just slams him on his face. Got that dog in him, too. Breaks through multiple guys. He's the Grim Reaper. He's the Grim Reaper out here. Here we go. We're on the inside. No one cares to block him. Might as well not. He killed that quarterback. He's just on his face. It's the same game too. We're just going to watch a quarterback die here. Just gets in there. Kills the running back. Oh, fumble. He just saw him and just dropped it. He got so scared. Look at him. Look at him. I'm going to shed the block. We're going to get up. We got to the quarterback. Woo! I'm going to shed him off. He comes back and gets him. Good pursuit. Off the gut. Doesn't matter if you kind of got him blocked. He's still going to like reach around. He's back there. He's disruptive. Look how low he gets for his size. Look how low he gets for size. Look, look how shot out he is a little bit. Just does what he wants. Okay, he's breaking through. There goes the quarterback to the face. Bam. Eating dirt, son. Getting low. Pushes the guy back. Breaks off of it. Look how low he is. He's going to get very low. Pushes it back. You're just seeing the offensive line just get killed in general. You're just getting pushed back. Low. Get, breaks it. And we're in on the play. Gets low. Oh, how's that little guy going to block him? How's that little guy going to block him? Did he block it? He did, didn't he? He's so long. He's got a lot of bend to him. Look at him roll out of that. Gets to the tackle. Man, this guy's... I'd be scared if I had a kid in high school and had to go against somebody like this, like that. Or if my kid was the quarterback. Here he comes. You're not going to block him. You have to put an assignment on him. We're looking at one of the top D linemen in the country. You're not going to put an assignment on him. You're just going to hope the play can just run. And I get what you're trying to do. It just ain't going to work against a player like that. My goodness. Where's he at? There he is. Watch how disruptive he is. Bam. Follows it. You just follow. Was there a pull block? I think there was a pull block by 65. You just follow the puller. Take you right where you need to go. And he's fast enough to do that. Right through it. Bam. Takes the outside. And we're just going to loop around. You gotta have like a three second clock in your head if you're the quarterback. Oh. You're just gonna chip him. He gets in there. He keeps working. He's got a high motor. Just gonna push him back. Now we're gonna get after the quarterback. 
They don't mess around with these clips either. Boom. Oh my goodness. This dude's huge and long. Some breaking through the line every single play. Oh! He's going to catch him, isn't he? No, they're going to clip away. Where's he at? There he is on the edge there. Pushes him back. Scrapes off. And we're going to just make sure he goes down. Three, three down lineman. Pushes the guy back. He's powerful. He's just eating offensive linemen up. Oh, we're getting a safety here. He ate his face. He ate his face, son. Oh. I like this highlight reel because it's just quick. There's no BS in between plays or anything like that. And it's just him being a monster. He's going to work on contain. Nah, who needs contain when you got him? He's just going to get to it. You're not going to block him. You're getting pushed back. Here we go again. I think I know what's going to happen here. You touch me and I get by you. Down goes the quarterback. We're going to get to the quarterback again. Oh, they run through you. But you got through that block pretty easy. Oh, nice swim move. Oh, that's so quick. That's so quick. And it caused the pick. It was disruptive. Oh, my goodness. Different game here. Takes that low block. It doesn't matter to him. Where your head goes, your body goes. 55. Try to slide down. Try to get that protection. Just eats it, though. We're trying to get that inside corner. We break it. And we're just going to slide to it. Up the gut here. Holding, holding. There's a left. Oh, my goodness. It gets there right during the handoff. Oh, he's up there almost with the play. We we got to start circling him off, guys. We're not going to be able to catch up with the tape. There we go. There we go. Pushes the guy around. Peels off. Catches him. Catches him. After a peel off, grabs the guy. He's got them long arms. He's got them long Grim Reaper arms. He, the quarterback, you feel it coming every single time. Here we go off the edge. He's he's ready. Eats a guy. Peels off. We're in on the play. Look at that. Here we go again. I love watching these five stars on the defensive line just eat offensive linemen. It's so fun. It's like the funnest high school tape to watch. It's funner than any other position. Because you're just watching tackle... Like that. Well, again, it's a screen, but still. Like this. Guarantee it. Gets through. Peels off. Gets the tackle. And it's play after play after play. Boom. Did he just try to cut him? And it was like, nah, dog. Ain't happening. Right like that. The guy just gets his face ate off trying to block. Stays with the play, huh? Let's see what that the guard does. Oh. Woo! He's like, now nah, I'm not going to put my hands on you. I'm going to make a business decision right here. Nasty. Nasty tape. This dude is nasty. LJ McRae is ready for the college level. He is ready. This guy is strong. This guy... Moves very, very well. Good motor. Good swim move. Good spin move. He just destroys everybody. His highlight tape was a highlight tape to where he's just eating everybody. And the plays that were lower is just him just destroying blockers still. That's the thing about this. He destroys everybody in his path. He's so good on his highlights that you don't get a true read off him because he's destroying the competition that badly. His highlights are highlights, and he is just destroying the opposition. He's killing everybody in front of him, whether he's pushing him back five yards, spinning away, 
Or if the offensive lineman, the guard or tackle, whoever it is, however they're trying to do it, just is too scared to block him, they just give him one of those and let him go by it. Because we saw that a few times. And it was 10 minutes of blitz, but it was quick. I like that. And I like it that it was play after play after play of him just eating. Him just killing defensive linemen, eating a running back or quarterback. Quarterbacks had a hard time against him. He had a good good pursuit angle on some plays. I got kicked back out to the outside, and he just peeled off and was able to catch that running back. He did it on a couple plays, and quarterbacks had no chance at running away from him. Dude's got speed, especially when you can pick it up. LJ McCray's that dude. He's that dude. He's athletic. He's got size. He's going to get even bigger. Look for him to be starting at Florida soon. Look for him to put a stamp on things. Let me know what you think in the comments below and hear about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.